Welcome to the Hyperwheel Overdrive Quick Start video. Here we'll cover much the same ground as the in-game tutorial system does, but we'll try to give players a sense of how the controls work from the outside. So first things first, we have our rear view camera here. We have a compass. We have our upometer here. It'll, that arrow will always point up, which can be useful sometimes if directions are a little ambiguous. Uh, we have a rifle here, our laser rifle. That's always in the cockpit. You can pick it up one-handed or two. And there's a launcher attached to it, which is useful for loading up rockets or grenades or any other fun projectiles that you come across the game. That explosion was close enough to push me a little bit. Uh, but we're going to be focusing on the driving controls first. So the default is left stick, left wheel, right stick, right wheel. Now you can easily swap that out for forward, backward, thumbstick on a throttle and a left and right steering stick. Or you can use a trigger for your throttle, although that isn't always ideal because sometimes you're going to want to use your trigger for other things. Uh, but those are options. The default will give you the best handling over your car overall because that's how it works underneath anyway, is different throttles for different wheels. So if we go full forward on both sticks, and now if we let off on one, we'll turn that way. And if I pull back on that one, we're gonna turn really sharp. I can start driving backwards because I'm pretty used to how things work. Uh, but the best way to control like this is not to let off on the stick, but instead to push one stick outwards. So if I push my right stick outwards a bit, it still just decreases the Y axis value of the thumbstick, but it gives you something to push against for accuracy. So you can be a lot more accurate about what kind of throttle you want to give to the wheel. Uh, some of the other power-ups that are around is the spring here and as a power meter. So, and we can pull a plane here plane kit I might stall it I'm pretty going pretty slow okay we're gonna be okay a loop around here uh, so the plane is left stick controls the roll and the pitch and the right stick controls your yaw the yaw will slow you down so if you're going real slow and might stall you don't want to add too much yaw and then we can pull this to shear our wings off we can cancel our plane and there we go Transitions are pretty smooth most of the time. And how to handle your vehicle when airborne. If I go off, and I just let off, and maybe just pull back slightly, there, we can keep her level. But the wheel gyro effect is in play. So if I go full forward, I'm gonna do a backflip. And be careful if you're queasy in VR because this one, some people don't like so much. You'll see I pulled back right at the end there to stop my rotation. Uh, but there's another way to control your rotation in the air too. You can grab your thruster controls. Here we can point that way and then we can try to point back. <laughs> I kind of went too far because I was trying to grab my laser rifle here with my non-dominant hand. So you can see how you could point yourself in the air towards somebody to shoot at them. And there is a meter here that recharges while you drive. And if we just hit it with the index trigger, that's auto thrust and it'll just point whichever direction we're flying. And it'll try to line up with the ground. So you can get some pretty nice landings. Although you'll see in the stunt system here, I get a big penalty for that. Because we're in free play, stunts are being calculated, also in stunt matches, but otherwise that's not really too relevant. And that about covers the tutorial. So we have springs, we have, oh, seeker balls. If you're the only player, too, your homing rockets and seeker balls will target you. So this seeker ball is going to chase after me here. But that's a great way to play around in the demo, 
And that is also a great way to play around early on in the game when all you've unlocked is Flatland. Alright, thanks for watching the quick start video.